Um, so entertainment news in celebration of creativity and entrepreneurship is 77 percent of generation influences events better in Lagos bringing together a diverse group of social media influences, content creators and industry experts. Plus, the correspondent Lobo Udoko reports that event highlighted the significant impact of JD2 platforms on today's youth. It was an evening of fun, exchange and networking among social media influencers, bloggers and other online users. Famed generation influencer, big business or social responsibility saw top Nigerian influencers collaborating with 77% DW's channel for Africa as a game changer in promoting national cohesion in the country. Edith Kimani is the host of the 77%. Influencers these days become our travel guides. They sometimes tell us how and what to do with our money. They even sometimes tell us how to parent our children. So they are obviously very important in society today. But the question becomes, when they are relying on money in order to stay in business, do they have a responsibility towards us? The things that they produce, the things that they're promoting, should they be asking themselves the second question? And when it comes to issues of politics, should they be involved? If you are selling products or you're advertising products, but the products are somehow, you know, maybe deemed bad at the end. There are testings for, you know, something, and then it turns out, oh, the products you, you actually adv advertise for are bad. Do you, do you carry some responsibility for that? And the voice we want to amplify is the fact that, you know, influencers like them should be able to use their platform for good. Because if you have a lot of young people following you uh, with millions of followers, it means that you are a strong voice to reckon with. But what you do with that platform is very important. The event was a platform for these emerging leaders to discuss pressing issues and share their visions for the future. It was also an inspiring display of unity and ambition within this influential generation. Social media has given most people the platform that on a normal day they wouldn't have or even create for themselves. Social media has been that backbone to making a nobody a somebody if you're actually looking at putting in the work, especially with creating content and just um, getting involved with trendy videos and all of that kind of stuff. The energy at the event was truly electrifying as attendees were committed to driving positive change and collaborating on innovative solutions for society. It highlights the significant impact of digital platforms, but the question remains if the drive is predicated on business. I think it's not their responsibility. They're here to make money. They are you know, striving every day to see how to make us create content. You always cry because they sweat on the sun and the rain. So now. Organizers believe influencers owe it a duty to be socially responsible to society. What's happening on the continent of Africa? There will be protests in every corner. Should it then be Uzo Emeka's job to stand there on TikTok and say, hey guys, this and this and this is what we need to do? The event concluded with a call to action for influencers to embrace their unique voices and leverage their platforms for positive impact. Love Uyuduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.